Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're doing well. It's Thursday. That was a great start to a Facebook Live. I kind of woke you up. How are things, everyone? Things are going well. It's uh, the back end of the week. And today's topic is five things to quit. Are you a quitter? Five things to quit. I hope you don't quit your entrepreneurial spirit and journeys. But these are five things to quit immediately. And I'm trying to work on these every day myself, so I hope you do as well. Number one, what's the first thing you got to quit right away? People pleasing. Okay, there are so many people out there that don't move forward or scared or afraid because they're afraid that they're going to hurt someone else's feelings. Get over that, okay? The world doesn't care. Stop worrying about people pleasing. And when you do, you'll see that you're going to run on your own track, stay in your own lane, and crush it in whatever direction that you have set in front of you. People pleasing, number one, absolutely number one thing you need to learn how to quit. Number two is playing small. I can tell you that you're playing small. I don't even know you, or if I do know you, uh, you're still playing small. I know I'm playing way too small, and I'm looking to change that every day to think better, think stronger, think smarter, think uh, more confidently every day by working on me every day. And if I think I want to reach this level, I am gunning it for this level. I hope you do too. Let's stop playing small. The world's our oyster. We are so blessed in the world that we live in, the way world we live in, the way we can communicate with the push, push of a button like this to be able to communicate your ideas, your thoughts, your direction, your vision, your purpose in life. Don't play small, play huge, ginormous, and get out there and crush it every day. The third thing that you and I need to quit, like yesterday, is procrastinating. Are you procrastinating in your business? Are you thinking of making those calls tomorrow because today it's snowing? Because today your son is sick at home? Uh, because you're just kind of not feeling it. Stop procrastinating, okay? Don't leave it for tomorrow. We have no idea what tomorrow brings, okay? That's why you hear Dan McCormick. He's having the greatest day of his life today. I try to use that all the time with people because... People, when they ask you, why is today the greatest day of your life? Because I have no idea if I'm going to be tomorrow here or here tomorrow. And yesterday's gone. And so the only thing time I have is right now. So stop procrastinating wherever you're going towards. Make it happen now, this very moment. If you've got to do something, do it now. And you'll be better for it in terms of taking action and moving anything that you're meant to be moving forward. Number four, the fourth thing to absolutely quit is living in the past. Living in the past, okay? And that can really speak to even worrying about the future. But the fourth point is living in the past. The past is done. Dunno, as they say. It's gone, okay? You cannot go back. And so we all, including Marco, need to worry about what I have presently going on because that's going to drive the future. So living in the past, uh, simmering in the past, it only stops you from growing because what had happened, make it a lesson to learn what has happened, good or bad in the past, and move it forward for the future. The fifth thing to quit, can you guess what the fifth thing to quit is? We spoke about people pleasing, and. Eh playing small, eh, procrastinating, living in the past. The fifth thing that I'm working on, I hope you're going to work on, that you absolutely need to quit is perfectionism. Perfectionism. Now, I'm a very detailed-oriented human being, as a lot of you know, and I like to see everything always nice and neat and organized. That's just my nature. <sighs> no one's perfect. Only the gentleman upstairs is perfect. The rest of us have flaws. And so I'm ever so slowly working towards that to understand that I'm not perfect. And when you worry too much about perfectionism, that tends to freeze you, especially in this business 
of entrepreneurship, especially in this business specifically of network marketing. When you want everything perfect, it freezes you from doing the activity that's going to drive your business forward, like picking up the phone, like making three-way calls with your sponsor, trying the products, attending events, pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone, specifically when it comes to this business. So try not to be perfect and have everything organized before you begin. Just get down and dirty in this business and forget about perfectionism. Fall over your words, trip over your feet, like I do so many times on these Facebook lives. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just documenting my journey going forward. So I hope that spoke to all of you. Are you going to quit some of these things? things that are paramount to move you, yourself, and I into a direction that we all want. Stop pleasing people. Don't play small. You and I should be playing way bigger than we can even think about. Okay, the world's our oyster. Stop procrastinating, living in the past, and forget about being perfect. No one's perfect except the Almighty Lord up top. Hope you got some value from this. If you want to share it and send it out to other people that will get a very strong message, go ahead, like, comment, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.